Hi everyone, Shane Armand Rowe here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get around the black flicker of death when dealing with keyboard inputs, specifically on non-Steam digital lockers where you have to sign in. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to go to the Discover Store, and you're gonna download something called Core Keyboard. So you can just type in Core, and Core Keyboard will show up, hit Install. I've already got installed, so obviously my work here is done. Okay, next up, you're going to want to run Core Keyboard, which should appear under Utilities, and you'll see a little icon down here that has a little double A on it. If you click it and hit Toggle, you'll see a different type of keyboard come up at the bottom. Okay, don't get too excited. It's not as easy as you're thinking right now that it's going to be. Then, what we'll need to do is open up a text editor. In this case, we're gonna use KWrite, New File, and you're going to go ahead and use the basic keyboard, the standard keyboard, to put in your authentication information. So username, whatever that might be, your email address, whatever it is, and your password. Obviously, I'm not going to use either one of these for this actual video, but you'll wanna have that there. Now go ahead and highlight the first one and you can use the uh, trackpad and uh, triggers, right click and copy, so that the first piece of information is on the clipboard. Now, I've already got the first piece of information. I've got my username, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy the password. Now, go ahead and bring Kate off to the side here, or K right rather, and go ahead and launch the locker in question. Now, this should probably work for just about any locker. I'm gonna show Battle.net right now because that's what somebody asked me to do, but most of them should work the same way. All right, so now we're here, and uh, of course, you will start seeing the black flicker of death which I'm assuming is why you're here to fix. Now you'll notice that as soon as you click outside the password field or give something else some sort of focus, the black flickering goes away. And you're thinking, ah, I could use this to my advantage. So you're probably thinking, hey, I bet now I could copy this clipboard uh, password and paste it in here. Well, it depends on how fast you are. Now, if you have a keyboard, Control-V will work just fine. But you know, with this going on, not gonna happen. Now, you'll also lose your mouse control too. Hold down the Steam button and you'll get your mouse control back. So once again, we'll bring K-Rite into view, which should stop the flickering of death at least temporarily. So now what we're going to do is, uh, now that you've got that information in your clipboard, we're gonna go ahead and open up Core Keyboard. Perfect. Now, this keyboard will actually survive the black flicker of death, which is why we're using it. So we're gonna clip into the password field and you're going to see the black flicker of death is still here. All right, so we have a usable keyboard, but the flicker of death is still here. So go ahead and click in the password field, and now you're gonna hit Control V. And if, you're, if the timing is right, it'll paste in that credential. In this case, it happened to work the first time, but it might take you two or three attempts to get it right. Do the same thing for all the information that you need. Copy it from here, from your text editor. Copy it to the clipboard, right? Copy it to the clipboard, go to the field that you need, right? In this case, you know, it's, it's kind of whacked out here, but go to the field that you need. So eventually, see how delete is, there we go, now it worked. You gotta, you gotta beat the window, right? And then just hit Control V, right? In this case, I copied the password instead of the username, but whatever. So you get the idea. So basically, put your credentials into a text editor, Right. Give the text editor focus to get rid of the black thing of death. Open up core keyboard, copy the credentials into your clipboard, and then paste them with control V on the core keyboard into the field that you need. Once you've actually logged in and you don't have to type anything, then the next subsequent run will be fine. You don't have to worry about it unless this happens to show up again, in which case you now know how to handle it. Well, I can't wait for this bug to be fixed. Of course, if you don't love this problem, you can always roll back to OS 3.4. This appears to be a 3.5 only problem and uh, you can get back to business the way you would like to. I highly recommend, once again, this is like a $4.99 keyboard, okay? You can get an $8 Bluetooth keyboard. Any real keyboard would solve most of this problem. It's, again, not ideal, but the keyboard definitely makes life easier. Otherwise, you're gonna to need to substitute and use the core keyboard. Listen, I hope this helped out. If it works for you on other digital lockers or other situations, please leave a comment down below. Let others know 
that you have found that this solution works for them. I pray that 3.5 gets updated to get rid of this nonsense problem. But right now, that's what we're dealing with. I hope this helped you out. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, blah, blah, blah. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching and take care.